Chicago for the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. And just before the main event, Nissan is hosting a big party where they are revealing not one, not two, but three new Frontier concepts. And in this video, we're going to check out all three. hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to check out what we're doing before it is here on YouTube, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all at GT Garage Talk. And everything we do, including our award-winning podcast, can be found at gtgaragetalk.com. Since its launch in 2018, and Armada delivered 16.2% sales growth for the full year. Of course, we're seeing the highest growth in truck and SUV segments, just like all brands. And high-end truck grades are increasing share more and more. Now, customers want to get out of their homes, have adventures, and do it in style. The right size and venture-ready frontier hit the heart of the market with the redesigned model that went on sale in September. Frontier had 64.7% sales growth in the entire year of 2021, with fourth quarter sales up nearly 115% over the same period of the year before. The 2022 Frontier is exceeding the business plan. Right now we're delivering them as fast as we can build them, especially the Pro-X and Pro-4X models. In fact, Frontier's retail segment share is up 6.3 points since the launch of the 2022 model. 
and that early buyer feedback has been extremely positive. With these buyers, everything we're seeing points to consumer demand for more personalization. We currently offer about 80 different Frontier parts and accessories, and this week, we'll even, even add more Nismo truck accessories to the Frontier catalog. Buyers now have the option of choosing a factory equipped, Pro 4X or Pro X, or recreating their own rugged and capable model to match their desired configuration. Now with this spirit of buyer personalization in mind, a team of creative and passionate Frontier enthusiasts at Nissan Design America kind of turned their imagination loose to answer the question, what can we do with the 2022 Frontier? All right, gearheads, we are setting the bar really high to start off here. This is the Project Adventure concept. And this thing is built on a Nissan Frontier Pro 4X platform. You can tell from these very aggressive wheels and tires here. But what makes this one special is that it is built for overlanding. You've got your rooftop basket for storage. You've got your rooftop tent over the bed. All the necessary gear for traction and fuel on your next overlanding adventure. But what Nissan Design America is extremely excited about is this in-house designed one-of-a-kind carbon fiber snorkel that uh, just finishes off the look of this truck. Goes perfectly with that rooftop basket with the LED light bar up top. And then I am digging this wrap on this one. This does have the entire United States of America wrapped around the entire pickup truck to show you where your frontier will take you on your next adventure. And this one is the most extreme build that we have. Um, this is our project, uh, project adventure, and it's, it's the Overlander truck. I, everybody is, uh, I think a lot of people, uh, when you see mid-sized trucks on the road, a lot of people are going Overlander in them. So this has all the standard stuff. It's got the rooftop tent, it's got the basket, um, the recovery packs, um, the kind of uh, full, full width rigid light bar, um, and a big lift. It's got a five inch lift and 34 inch tires. So this one really feels like a new category, a different category of truck. It's got all the standard stuff. Some of the stuff that we really um, wanted to highlight on this truck is firstly the wrap. Um, it's a map of the US and it wraps all the way around um, this truck, kind of all the way on, on all sides, even onto the tent. And the idea behind that was, you know, this is your new frontier and where can you take it? Where should you take this new truck? And the final piece on this one that we had a lot of fun working on and prototyping is actually the snorkel. Um, this is a carbon fiber snorkel that we built, um, designed and prototyped in our studio. So this was another fun project for us to work on. Um, you can see this, this is really kind of well integrated into the rest of the design of the truck. Um, even the, the mesh on the top of it is matching the mesh of the grill. So this is one of those parts that a lot of times we don't get to work on. Um, they, they kind of show up maybe from an aftermarket company or something like that. And this, this is a really fun thing for us to imagine if we were going to do an overlander from our studio, how would we do it? Let's take a look now at the other two concepts here from Nissan. All right, if you recognize the truck behind me, you will absolutely love the truck right next to me. This is the Project Hardbody concept from Nissan based on the 2022 Frontier. And it is very retro from stem to stern, from tail to nose. Uh, starting back here in the back, we will look at this retro graphics package. And Holly, if you'll come in closer here, uh, just to prove its ruggedness, we've got a bed mounted tire carrier with a full-size spare uh, back here in the back. And yes, if you are a fan of the hard body, you will recognize very distinct hard body callback on these wheels here. Holly, if we'll move over this direction, we'll kind of do a quick once around the truck here. You can see Nissan's standard sports bar, and we've got some rectangular LED uh, lights up here at, to at the top. Kind of a retro callback there as well. And then moving down 
on the side. Very classic uh, Nissan Pathfinder style graphic here on the side for the 4x4. Blacked out door handles and mirror caps here just to kind of break it up, differentiate it just a little bit. And then moving around to the front of this pickup, you get this awesome textured hood graphic here. Reduces glare when going off-road. A little bit of texture, a little bit of smooth. Textured grill surround here, so it's not just solid black, but very blacked out, reminiscent of the old hard body. And then one last callback here with these amber lights up front. For me personally, when we were working on the Frontier, I was always looking at hard bodies. Um, it's the first truck that was designed at our studio, and I think it's like this kind of timeless modern design, even today. Um, so a lot of that kind of reflected into the new Frontier. And so with this version, we took it a little bit further, and we started out by blacking out the front end, kind of like the original hard body is. But we didn't just paint everything black. Um, there's this kind of grit and texture to this truck. So the grill, the lower grill parts, they're kind of offset with this um, gloss black bumper, and even the uh, marker lamps have been tinted orange to kind of give you a little bit of that retro vibe. And probably, I think, maybe for everybody, the first thing you're going to notice about this truck is the cool wheels. Um, these, I think, instantly say hard body. I think if you know this truck, you know the wheels, you know this is a hard body. But if you don't know it, this is still a really cool wheel, and it's really unique. You haven't seen it anywhere else on the road, and we kind of own this. So it was a fun, fun project for us to work on. We actually made these wheels in the design studio. It's the first time we've ever done that, and that was a really cool process for us too. And some additional things about this truck, pretty cool. Um, we've got these kind of shadow graphics. I think if anybody has an old Pathfinder, you might recognize this 4x4 symbol of the rock sliders. And we treated the sport bar, this is our accessory sport bar, we added lights to it to give it that kind of retro look with the rectangular lights, but these are uh, 10 inch uh, LED lights, so they're retro and modern at the same time. Uh, moving around the back of this truck, into the bed, there's a, a spare tire carrier, and if you come around to the back of this truck, uh, we treated the rear end of it a lot differently than the standard Frontier by giving it a graphic with um, a backlit, kind of a, uh, a backer, so that the Nissan uh, lettering is offset up to the right. So it's a kind of another nod to our heritage, uh, but done in a, in a modern way. Alright, last but certainly not least here at the Nissan event is the Project 72X. This is a very 70s, very Datsun 720 concept here that, uh, let, let's just face it, it's very retro. You've got this gray paint with contrasting white accents everywhere. This one actually rides on a two and a half inch lift over your standard Pro 4X. And Coming around the side here, we want to take a look at this awesome retro graphics package. You've got your sport bar here with white accented lettering here on the side. And can we just take a minute to revel in these white steelies? Steelies are making a comeback. We've got a friend with a Bronco with black steelies. These right here, these are actually the spare wheel that you get on any 2022 Nissan on Frontier. They just painted them white and my goodness, they look good and they pop on this gray exterior. Wrapped in your Pro 4X spec Hankook off-road tires. Again, you get more of the graphics package as we're moving up front here, calling out that 4x4 aspect here and really just loving this two and a half inch lift that is on this 72X concept. I don't know, what do you think? Which of these three trucks is your favorite here? Is it this 72X? Is it that red hard body? Or is it my personal favorite with the Project Adventure with all the overlanding goodies? Let us know down in the comments below. I really like that spirit of when you buy the product, you make it your own. And so these, these three trucks that you see today, they kind of represent a little bit about that uh, from our perspective. After we got finished uh, designing the Frontier, uh, kind of sitting at our desks uh, between projects and just imagining, oh, if I get a Frontier, maybe I'll do this to it, or maybe I'll do that to it. And uh, these three Frontiers kind of represent different ways of different kind of maybes. What would you do with your own Frontier? 
Um, so we were looking back, and we were looking back, we were looking forward, kind of looking everywhere. And I really like uh, a lot of our mid-sized truck heritage. We have such a long heritage, a kind of a really long lineage of some really cool pickup trucks. And so some of these capture some of that spirit. Uh, one of my favorite trucks was the Datsun 720 from the late 70s to early 80s. And this first truck that you see here um, is based on the Esprit truck, and it's kind of a throwback to that feeling of that truck. I had a lot of these advertisements um, for the 720 kind of sitting on my desk, and the time of that truck was really cool to me because when we advertised that truck, it was all about fun and kind of lighthearted expression. Like you're just kind of going fishing or going camping or whatever. It wasn't ultimate anything, it was just having fun in the truck. And so we wanted to re uh, recreate some of that feeling with this one. So it's a narrow body, lifted, kind of fun, agile truck. And probably the first thing you'll notice is that it's sitting on Steelys. And we wanted to try to bring back Steelys and make them cool. Um, these are painted white, and these are actually the spare wheel that you get with your front here, just painted white. Uh, we put it on Pro 4X tires and gave it a two and a half inch lift, so it's kind of a light modification, but it's a fun way to, fun way to kind of express a uh, narrow body lift the truck. It's also got this kind of three stripe graphics um, faded down the side. It's a, it's a little bit of a modern take on this kind of retro graphics. So that's Frontier done in three very different ways for three different customers. Well, that is a wrap from the Nissan pre-show to the 2022 Chicago Auto Show featuring three 2022 Nissan Frontier concepts. Behind me here, this is your base or standard grade Pro 4X that you can actually get on sale today. This truck is doing a lot of good for the Nissan brand. We've covered it here before. Uh, we've actually compared it against a Jeep Gladiator uh, Texas Trail. Go check that video out. We'll link it for you. And this, this truck is doing a lot of good for the Nissan brand, stealing six points a share from comp uh, its competition, like the Tacoma, like the Ranger. So I want to know, what are your thoughts on the Nissan Frontier line as a whole? It's basically basically a refreshed body on an old frame, but it seems to be working for the brand. We want to thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit the like. Be sure and subscribe and ring the bell so you are notified every time we post a new video because we've got more stuff coming from this 2022 Chicago Auto Show.